All right, so workbench color customizations overrides colors from the currently selected color theme. Well, uh, hmm, this is not exactly the currently selected color theme because um, it's the current currently selected color theme, but you can also apply um, customizations by theme. So let me show you what I mean. If we set, for example, the title bar active background, I guess red is a bit stupid. This is a, this is weird too, <laughs> because you can't see whatever is written there. But anyway, you get the point. Like so, if you if you set this setting uh, like so, um, it will apply on any um, theme that you have. However, you can just press Control Space to see all the options you have. And you can you can actually uh, define a theme. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, define color customizations by theme. So, for example, we can choose. Actually, you know what? This option right here. Let's make sure this only happens on the abyss theme, right? So we can copy this out of here, insert it here. And now, if we change themes. Let's change to the abyss theme. It's going to have that, right? And if we remove it, it's not. Okay, so this means that you can apply themes. This is the default. You can apply color customizations uh, on whatever theme is active right now or um, on a particular theme. Um, Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm not sure if I want to run any color customizations right now, but I do want to use the Cobalt 2 theme. So I guess I'm going to re-record this video after the editor thing. Where's the workbench theme option? Uh, okay, let's just search for theme. It's not the icon theme that I want. What the hell? Icon theme. Color theme. What the fuck? I know what happened. So I probably had workbench color theme below the setting. So if I control Z, there we go. And I changed it and it removed it. Whew. All right. I think I had some problem with my um, settings um, intake. Anyway, there. Yeah.